Fresh eggs from the Rackley Roost. Breakfast of champions. Yeah, so today's gonna be sort of a emotional one because um, there's a changing in the seasons. I've, I've just seen all the signs. I know it's the right time. It, it is time to pack up and, and leave here. It's so all kind of started at the beginning of the year. I, I felt like this is a year of change. This is a, like a year of, um, you know, movements, change, things like that. That's just what kept uh, kept popping into my head. And uh, there's just been signs. There's been signs. If you're of the spirit, you know what I'm saying. And uh, we always always kind of told ourselves this is uh, this would be a place that we wanted to be uh, for like half a decade, and then kind of go from there. And that's where we're at. That's really where we're at. We're, uh, we've lived in the treehouse, is what we call it, for six years. Absolutely love this neighborhood. We love this community. Uh, I grew up close to here. I have a lot of memories here. I have a lot of sentimental values here. I always tell the story, and this is how my channel got started, as Lake Fork guy. Um, Lake Fork is where I really it just changed my life in terms of fishing. But where I got the, the, the bug, the real fishing bug, was just like 200 yards from this porch right here. And I would go down to the lake when I was a kid and I would just work out. I would work out everything, you know, the normal uh, problems that pre-teens and teens go through. And I would just do it with fishing and that was my closest lake and i absolutely love being in the woods i love uh, being close to nature i see it i see the value in my kids here um you know when they get around other kids that don't have access to to being in uh in in the woods being in nature you know they just they just know so so many things about uh <laughs> bugs and animals and just running around in rocky and dirt terrain, and uh, they're so agile. They're so athletic, and um, they just have a better sense of nature. But what you guys have not seen on camera is all of the work, and I've showed some of it around here, but all of the work that goes into maintaining a place in the woods like this. I have personally been, I think, to just about every tree on this property and trimmed it up like 10 feet and have to constantly do that. Living on a hill with a creek, it's constant battles with erosion, our dirt, our rocks. I cleared out all the leaves this year. I shredded them up nice to make this, this nice little topsoil for everything in the woods. I spent all this extra time, weeks doing this. Torrential rains come in, just wash it all away. It's it's just, it's gone. The animals are fun. They're great at times. You get a nice deer, you come out here, sip your coffee. Hey deer, good to see you, buddy. We had a family of owls this year. That was incredible to see. But there's the yin and the yang. You know, I picked up a dead chicken two days ago. Mr. Bobcat coming in. The other night I was rigging tackle on my boat. Bobcat's just running up trying to grab a chicken. I'm trying to, you know, run out there and I have filmed that stuff in the past and it's like, it was crazy at first. Now it's just with two kids trying to chase the littles around, it's hard to chase around the other animals too. Just the other day I picked up not one, but two snakes out of the chicken coop. Rat snake bit one of my chickens right in the face and love it. But uh, 
you know, gets a little much when you're chasing around kids all the time. We have also just outgrown our space. Um, I did have six vehicles this year. Um, now we're cutting that down. I'm selling stuff, guys. I'm, I already sold my ATV. I sold the dang meat wagon. I'm probably gonna put the camper up for sale, which will crush my daughter's soul. We're out of room, we're out of space. Uh, times are not easy. Mortgage rates are high. Housing prices are insane, are insane right now. But I just, I have it, I have it in here. I know it's what we need to do. I'm ready for a, a fresh start somewhere have more space for the family to grow and expand. And I just think we, we hit a wall this year. We had to replace all of our siding. It was a month of, of hell. We hit breaking points with that. We just, we hit a wall with it. Um, and now the home is, is fresh and looks, looks great. Um, it's time, it's time to put it up. I'll give you guys updates on where we're going, how this is going. Uh, we're probably gonna cry. Probably gonna cry when we leave here. Watch out! How are we doing, Peaches girl? Still laying them blue eggs, love to see it. Big flock update for you guys. Uh, we're actually thinking about uh, putting our home up for sale with the flock and just starting a new one. Although I, I love this flock and now that I've got them trained, uh, it's pretty amazing. I've been through three flocks here at this house, learned a lot of things. Colonel is, uh, he's getting pretty old and he's actually got big talons that we need to uh, we need to despur him today. Did you know chickens after about three years, the hens, they stop laying eggs. So Naked Neck over here, she has, she has become unproductive. So who is Barry White? Tell everybody about Barry White. Well, Barry White's our little chicken. She sleeps outside since the other ones pick on her. Yeah, she got booted out of the flock, so. <laughs> Long story short, when the uh, the two rat snakes came into the chicken coop, we had two broody hens. Uh, one of them has now, has now been eaten. They would sit on these eggs all day, and these snakes, they were coming in. I was actually gone on a trip when they found the eggs and they started coming in like every day. And Stephanie, when I came home, she said, you know, I don't know if the chickens are laying eggs. They're sitting in there, but the, there's nothing coming out. So they were taking the eggs every day. So when I got home, I spotted one, and then next thing you know, I spotted another one, and uh, one had bitten Barry White in the face as she was protecting, guarding her little nest, and um, she became pretty weak, and the other chickens kind of disowned her. Uh, even though she's small, she, she used to be pretty spicy for her size, but now, now she just kind of uh, is like a pet. Oh. Somebody laid a soft egg. That is not good behavior, guys. You really don't want to see a chicken uh, eating eggs like that, but that's a soft one. There's no actual shell. So this happens every once in a while in their, in their cycles. But that is bad behavior when they learn to eat, eat the eggs, obviously. But it is, uh, they are just amazing creatures. Uh, incredibly adaptive, and they just seem to know what to do like in all situations, to, to survive. And they'll eat, their, they'll eat their own eggs sometimes. And I actually feed them back their own shells, crunch them up to give them uh, calcium to make more eggs. Anyway, somebody laid a softy. She's gonna eat that. Stay away from that, Amy. You don't wanna touch that raw egg, okay? Okay. Okay, it's dinner time. Ben is telling us it's dinner time, guys. So we're gonna go in here, see what OSG has made, and then we're gonna come back we're gonna come back outside and uh, we're going to de-spur a rooster. In the kitchen with OSG. Might be one of the last times you see us in this kitchen. Have you told them about this? Yeah, they know what's going on. Okay. But we'll follow up with updates. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I've already had like an emotional- I, I, already told, I already told them we're gonna cry. This is it. 
We're crying. And I've honestly had an emotional last 15 minutes of just thinking, so I can't even look at you right now because... Kids playing outside, swinging from the trees, the memories. <laughs> we won't show it. We won't show mommy crying. What's on the menu tonight? This looks incredible. I don't really know. I kind of just threw something together. What is that? Cherry tomatoes, broccoli, and a little... Yeah, you know, I did a base of like onions and garlic and then threw some olive oil on it. And then mm. chicken breast, fresh little cherry tomatoes and broccoli, mm. uh, mozzarella on top, some heavy cream, and a really good just... I don't know. It was like a sauce base. This is how we do it. Just made it up on spot, babe. Guys, wherever we go, it will be a home with OSG because she knows she just Own the kitchen. She knows what she's doing. I mean, the kitchen is just such the heart. It's a heart of a home. And uh, babe, you do it upright. Thank you. That's it. You do it upright. Very good. Good food, good mood. Good food, good mood. <laughs> if we could ever get Ben to eat. He's, a, he's one of those kids that just, he doesn't eat. Take bite, go play. Take bite, go play. That's about it. Oh no, teenager going in cool. Hey, see why hungry. Say, come on chickens. Come on chickens. <laughs> this way. I think that one's about ready to jump into your arms. Watch out for poop there, buddy. All right, set it down in there. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna, yeah, that's a lot. They're gonna love that. Having them uh, grow up here and you know, be around that wildlife, the chickens and everything. It's just been, I think that's what makes, it's making Steph emotional. It's like all the little things, all the little nuggets they've grown up with here. But we're gonna try to find something similar. I just, I know it's time for a change. I know it in, in my heart, Stephanie know, knows it too. I knew it at the beginning of the year, y'all. I was, uh, just had a feeling. It's like, this is a year of change. And it has, it has, what's up, buddy? Speaking of challenges, I just found out. I just found out. I mean, I have like, I've hit a limit. I've hit a wall. The uh, redoing the entire siding on the house and, um, you know, getting a, getting a new boat and having to fix everything up. And I put all this work into it. And then I keep turning on my bilge pump. Like every time I'm stop, stopping, I'm like, why is there so much water coming into my boat? This is weird. I'm looking back, I'm like, am I backwashing? Boat's not backwashing. What is going on? Well, I come to find out that uh, somewhere under here, you know, it's right there actually. That is a crack in my hole. Right there, it's cracked. I don't know what I'm gonna do got to be fixed but can't keep fishing with it like that for too long I I'm just uh, just just been one of those years guys but I think there's good things to come I, th I think we're in for a jubilee it's just uh, it's just a lot going on and uh, man it's hard to put into words it's just been a crazy crazy year uh, election year at that at that um, Things are just tying in, tying in crazy. But one thing that can't lose track of is keeping these guys so curious and explorative, adventurous, and um, gotta find a place that, that keeps them hungry to do that. Cause I think it's, it's one of the best educations they'll get is just being curious in the outdoors. Learning to think, fix things, learning to adapt, learn about harsh, harsh things, learn about being tough. So many lessons to be learned in the great outdoors. Speaking of that, you got mosquitoes on you, bud. You got mosquitoes. You know that? Why are we leaving, honey? You're gonna make me start crying again. Why are we leaving? <laughs> oh. 
It's been a snowball of effects of like how yeah. this has actually happened. And I think it all started with somebody wanting to buy our home that we yeah. were like, eh, hey, let's just throw out a number. And then just got us started thinking. And then after the hundredth project on this house. And running out of space. I'm running out of space. Well, yeah, you need a barn. I know. <laughs> My selfish dream, maybe, maybe this is something we get out of this, is uh, I, get a, I get a shop. I get a shop for the boat, the trailer, the, what was an ATV that I had to sell. Just living an outdoor lifestyle. It's, it's hard to live anywhere in town because there's no space. Like, what you can afford is, well, we can't afford anything around here that has that kind of space. Plain and simple. So we're gonna be looking looking out. We even thought, like, what if, what if we ended up at Lake Fork, like full circle, come full circle. Yeah, I don't know that I could ever live in East Texas. Go though. back to ET. I was there for two years and I could not wait to get out. You're really crushing some souls right now. <laughs> I, there's a part of me that does live in East Texas, and I will always consider Kilgore a secondary home to me. Uh, always for me. Yeah. Well, there's part of me that lives in East yeah. Texas. Uh, there will always be a part of me that lives in College Station, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, and right here, this is where I grew up. There's two lizards. There's two baby lizards, both on these uh, stick things. Look at this guy. Like, they're freshly hatched. See how tiny he is? Look how tiny he is, Emmy. Look at him. There he goes. He's like blending in. He's, he's blending in. They get big. We have one that lives on the front porch that it'll just come right up to us, you know, just chill. We're going to start with a blank slate. It's going to be, it's going to, whatever it's going to be, it's going to look like this was when we moved in. Nothing here. Mm hmm And we're going to just build, build it back up. <sighs> you know, there's these like weird shifts in life in uh, sevens, which we are, uh, we are at our seventh after a big shift um, after my brain tumor and moving up here, we're at the seventh year. It's like a switching. Yeah, November will be seven years of your surgery, that is. Yeah, Actually, just right big now. life changes. Big life changes uh, every seven years. So that's where it's at. Might get away from these airplanes, who knows. <laughs> it kills the mood. Putting fresh paint on, doing all the little doodads things we've been waiting five years to do. Um, I finally got them to trim out some of my windows. <laughs> yeah, everything looks gorgeous. Mom, got no fresh sighting. Then we're leaving. Mom, baby. Why are you eating dirt? Because you didn't eat your dinner, so you're getting dirt. You're eating dirt. Playing with daddy's stuff. Mm. Leaving in the morning, heading to the trout streams in California. Hey, you want to despur a, a rooster? I'll let you do that. Okay. <laughs> Hold the camera. Okay. It's rolling. My job is easy. By the way, I've never done this before. <laughs> this should be entertaining. A little disclaimer. So after, I don't know how many years have we had, Colonel? Uh, three? Three? After three years, he's finally got some really big spurs and they're starting to kind of grow back into him a little bit and he's tripping over them, it's just causing some problems. Uh, and you know, he tries to smack me every, every once in a while with him. So I've never done this, but uh, I've just heard of people doing it. You basically take a pair of pliers and you kind of twist them off, pull them off. Do they bleed? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Uh... Buddy. How are you going to catch him? Well, that was my one shot. To really get it done. I'll chase him over here. I'll corner him. The problem is he's a jumper. <laughs> jumper in a scooter. <laughs> now he knows. Come on, bud. I had one shot, that was my friendly, 
you know, petting him. Now he's just going to stay under the trailer. There he is. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Your water's inside, honey. <laughs> oh, this is entertainment. <laughs> grown man chasing after a full grown rooster. Here we go. I'll corner him. Oh no! <laughs> Step down the plane! Here it is. <laughs> These are some certified kickers right here. Stand back. He's also got like a lazy eye or a glazed over eye. I noticed that. Is that for Mr. Penny? Yeah. Thanks too. Got attacked. He's or that boy. might be from the bobcat. <sighs> yeah, I don't Look know. Look at those feet. Some hard feet. Can Those you are like dinosaur feet. They, they literally are. You want to touch him? Careful, he's like a velociraptor. I want to touch him. Oh my gosh, they are like dinosaur feet. <sighs> oh gosh. Uh -oh. I don't think he's going to have much feeling in here. Oh, 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 there he goes. Gonna twist it back and forth, buddy. Gosh, this feels like it really feels on there. Okay, I got one. I got oh! one. It came off actually pretty easy. <laughs> That's good. But uh, gosh, I let him go. He's not gonna let you get the other one. No, he's not. Look at that. It's just like a. Uh, Gross. It's like a sheep's horn. It's like a shell. It's like a toenail. Yep. It is a toenail. Big long toenail. Ew, Ew let me touch it. <laughs> Can I touch it? Ew. I want to touch it. You can put it on a necklace. Ew. You can be that weird kid at school. Ew! Ew you're weird. <laughs> she is weird. You smelled it. She is your like daughter. Like father, like daughter. <laughs> That other one. Where's your pliers? Yeah, it's sort of like uh, it's kind of bleeding, but it's like it's gonna grow. Yeah, a but new you one. see, like you can't cut it. Yeah, it's gonna grow a new one. Yes. So you got to cut them. How often? You know, this is three years. Three years he's been growing this bad boy. It's I gonna know. give you a nice little toenail trim. I know, buddy. It's coming. Feel it. There it goes. Did you the other one. Ew. His little horn. That's weird. Wait. Hey, if you learned something new, smash the like button. Do you like to do a thumbnail? Thumbnail. <laughs> Literally, thumbnail. Literally a thumbnail. <laughs> well, we will have a new flock. I, I actually would like to take the genes of some of the birds. We actually had one get eaten recently. I'll be honest. No, no love lost there. She was a mean <laughs> chicken. She, she mean. probably bit everybody. Uh, and her little sister here, the all or the uh, oh, what do you call it? Orpington. Lavender colored. Um, Did I make that up? Prairie bluebill egger. Oh, That's her actual name. Her actual name. She's pretty loud. So I, after years of uh, having chickens, I know like which ones are quieter, louder, easier to. To handle, lay the most eggs. I know, I know how to make the perfect flock now. And uh, we actually got really lucky having this rooster. You know, he's not too loud. He crows a little bit in the morning. He's cool. He keeps the flock in order. He it's tolerates great. a lot of stuff from our kids. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I picked him up and just ripped his claw off, and he was uh, he was okay with it. Despurred a chicken. 
Okay. Pretty easy. Add to that do. to your repertoire. Yep, yeah, that's in my it's in my list now. I'm a chicken farrier. This is also where Ben has learned to urinate as a man <laughs> out in the woods on a tree. You know, come out here, mark your territory. You Left know? his scent. I just wish that I had his distance. <laughs> Incredible. He Incredible just distance. he just points those hips out there and he shoots. Bam! I mean, he could Sorry, knock a fly off his perch. That's a kind of rock. Is it? I think it's a poop rock. Gotcha. Excuse me, we do not joke about chicken poop. Do you want this? <laughs> think it's cool? Want to add it to your bird collections? No. Yes. No, I think it's kind of gross. No? Yes. Well, I got two of them. One for you, one for me. It's like turtle doves. Y'all can make friendship bracelets. Yeah, friendship bracelets. Wild, right? I mean, did you know that? No. You just learned something new, right? I had no idea. You know, that's another thing about living where we do is like, we're just, we're on a hill. It's really cool. Like you can see the elevation and everything, but growing up as a kid trying to ride a bike here is, well, we've had a couple of near death experiences. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Yeah, you fell on your back. These kids are, yeah. they're so tough. They're certified, I mean, they're tough. They're tough growing up here. Just gonna miss it. Um, the other thing is like, we live so close to a lake. Like there's yeah. been times where I'd literally go pick you guys up in the golf cart down by the lake. Oh, I just, something just blew in my eye from off the tree. <laughs> Promise I'm not crying. I got something in my uh -huh. eye. Uh-huh, says every but. tough man. <laughs> But I love being so close to the water, you know, especially a lake that really got me into fishing. And, uh, you know, if it's kind of a, kind of just a weird day, got a few few hours in the afternoon, jump down to the lake. Uh, I, I, I have to be close to water, some way, shape or form. It's, it's in my heart, uh, always will be, but it's time, it's time, honey. All right, fishing freaks, so now you know the deal. It's time for a change. Wherever we go, you know, we're looking for more space to expand, have even bigger adventures, and keep these kids growing up in, uh, in the great outdoors. Sometimes we get those feelings, those inklings that are just coming at you. You just can't ignore them. You gotta pay attention, gotta listen, and you gotta do it. You gotta, you gotta listen, you gotta go forth with it. That's what we're doing here, guys, so stay tuned for more updates and adventures here on the channel. We'll see you soon.